sometimes it gets to 30,000 words, sometimes it gets to a complete draft, and I think, oh, I've finished it, and then I look at it and think, that's crap, you know, bin it, start again. And I do get there in the end, but I seem to have to write every book three or four times. My writing process is such a mess, and I keep thinking, one day I'll learn how to do this properly. But we're, what, five novels in, and I absolutely have not. In fact, I've just written 70,000 words of something and then decided that I hate it, and I'm, I'm throwing it out. But if you've been struggling with this thing and kind of knowing that it's wrong, but keeping going anyway because you don't know what else to do, to get to the end and think, nah, you know, screw it, let's start again. I really like that. I always say to students that the work you throw away is probably the most important work because you have to do it to get to the work that you don't throw away. There is no way around that. You can't go straight, I can't go straight to the right thing that I want to keep. I have to make the wrong thing often several times. In, in dressmaking, um, you sometimes make a, a thing called a maquette. You get some cheap fabric that you're not really interested in and you kind of throw together something to see if the measurements are right and to see if the structure's right and to see if the whole thing's going to hang together and then you fit it to the person you're making it for and you fold it and you, you, know, you, you get the shape right. But you know from the beginning that that's, that's just a false start. It's not even made of the material that you're planning to use in the end. So you make your mistakes on something cheap and then you, then you do the real thing. I, I embark on these enormous research projects. I mean, all of my novels have been as well researched as an academic monograph would be. And I take notes the way I would if you were writing an academic monograph. I've produced these books of detailed handwritten notes. And then I sit them on my desk and I write a novel and I never open the damn notebooks. There's a rhythm about both my writing process and my, my work in life because, of course, I teach full-time in a university, so there are times when it's difficult to get much writing done at all, and then there are times when the space sort of opens up around me. If I'm in a writing phase, I think if I have an hour, I'll write, and if I have less than an hour, I'll do the things that would otherwise stop me writing next time I have an hour. You know, I've been teaching creative writing for 15 years, and I don't really think you can teach people to write, you can just teach them to read. Read everything you can about your setting or your characters or whatever it is you don't know. Read, just read.